Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand how to access HTML elements in JavaScript. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to access HTML elements by their ID attribute value. We also understood how to access HTML elements by their class attribute value. In this video tutorial, we understand how to access HTML elements by their tag name. To access HTML elements by their tag name, we take help of get elements by tag name method. Document dot get elements by tag name. In brackets, we pass the tag name guys. Let's have a demo and understand. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to accessing HTML elements in JS. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Its title is set to accessing HTML elements in JS. I go back to the code. In the body section, I say here opening h1 tag, closing h1 tag. Inside that I say heading text. Then I say opening p tag, closing p tag. Inside that I say paragraph text. I copy these two lines of codes and paste here two times. I save it, go to browser and reload. We got heading text, paragraph text, heading text, paragraph text, heading text, paragraph text displayed. Now I want to apply background color black, text color white to all these heading text using JavaScript guys. For that what I do? I say here opening script tag, closing script tag. And then I say here type is equal to text or JavaScript. Then I say here document dot get elements by tag name in brackets in double quotations I pass the tag name guys I say here h1 I am telling in the document get the elements which have tag name h1 these three elements have tag name h1 so this code returns an array containing these three h1 elements guys what I do, I create one variable called as headings and then I say equal to. In the headings, we will be having these three h1s guys. It is going to be an array. If I say here alert, I say headings dot length length. We know that in the array, we have length property. It returns total elements currently available in the array. We know that in the headings array, we have three elements. So definitely we get three guys if I run the code. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see we got three guys. I close it. I go back. As I told, I want to apply background color black, text color white to all these H1s. We can access these individual elements using this array guys. I'm going to comment this code. I say here, H-E-A-D-I-N-G, headings, in brackets, I say zero. We know that arrays follow zero based indexing. So the first element will be at the zeroth index in this array. So headings of zero dot style. Using the style attribute, we can apply any CSS style or any CSS property guys. Here I say dot, I say background C-O-L-O-R color should be equal to black semicolon. Then I copy this code paste down headings of zero style dot text color so I will use the color property and then I say here white if I save this go to browser and reload you can see the first element got the background color black text color white applied what I can do I copy this code paste here one more time one more time here I say one one so this is headings of one next Two, two. This is headings of two guys. If I save it, go to browser and reload, you see all the headings got background color black, text color white applied. And you can see that if you carefully observe this code, the only change we can find is the change in the index, right? Instead of accessing individual elements, 
we can loop through the array guys we know that loops are very useful right so let me comment this code i say forward slash star and i say here star forward slash i save it go to browser and reload you can see heading text heading text heading text they don't have background color black and text color white right because this part is comment now now let's loop through this array i say here for were i equal to 0 i am initializing i with the value 0 because the first index is 0 then i say i less than headings dot length i say here i less than headings dot length headings dot length is returning 3 i am telling i less than 3 less than 3 means 2 you can see here last index is 2 so i am telling i less than 3 then i say i plus plus on every iteration the i value should be incremented by 1 first it will be 0 then it becomes 1 then it becomes 2 when i value becomes 3 3 less than 3 becomes false the loop will be terminated guys here i say opening floor bracket closing floor bracket and inside that i write this code i paste here instead of 0 i say i and then i say i so initially i will be 0 right headings of 0 background color becomes black headings of 0 text color becomes white then i value becomes 1 headings of 1 background color black headings of 1 text color white then i value becomes 2 headings of 2 background color black headings 2 text color white then i value becomes 3 3 less than 3 becomes false the loop is terminated if i save this go to browser and reload all the headings got background color black text color white guys now whatever we did with the headings we can do the same thing with paragraphs also i think you know how to do that right let me go here and say were paragraphs i am creating a variable called paragraphs equal to i say here document dot get elements by tag name instead of h1 i say p so this code gets all the elements with tag name p we have three elements all these three paragraphs are stored in this paragraphs array if i say if i say here alert alert paragraphs dot length definitely we get three i save it go to browser and reload you see we got three guys so it is clearly telling in the paragraphs we have three elements we can access them individually if we want i copy this code and paste here instead of headings i say paragraphs of zero background color should be black paragraphs of zero text color should be white if i save it go to browser and reload you see it got black color background and white color text if i want i can have some other color let's say here orange and the text color i put black let's save it go to browser and reload see background color orange is applied text color black now same thing I can do to other paragraphs. So copy that, paste here, paste here. I say 1 in this place, 1 in this place and 2 and 2. Save, go to browser and reload. See, instead of accessing individual elements, as I told, we can loop through, right? I copy this. Here I say forward slash star and then I say here star forward slash. I paste the code for were i equal to 0 i less than paragraphs dot length then i plus plus here i say paragraphs of i paragraphs of i instead of black i say here orange i save it go to browser and reload we are getting the same output but the text color is white we have applied right if i change this to black save it go to browser and reload they get the black color guys right I hope you guys have clearly understood how we access the HTML elements by their tag name. Whenever you want to access HTML elements by their tag name, you say document dot get elements by tag name and then you write the tag name. Once you get the reference, you can access individual elements. You can loop through the array and do whatever you want guys. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I suggest you people to try it yourself, experiment more. If you experiment, you get more knowledge. Okay. And if you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. 
for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much